Hey everybody, Keith Filson with the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music here, uh, back with another quick instrument demo. I've been getting a lot of requests over the past couple months here to uh, do some demos on the Eastman line of trombones. Um, as many of you know, um, Eastman is a manufacturer they've been building uh, brass instruments for like getting close to 20 years now. And one of the things that has really been innovative for them is their relationship with S.E. Shires. Um, so at this point, actually, S.E. Shires is part of the Eastman family along with um, Haynes, uh, Flutes, Bakun, Clarinets, for those of you who are in those areas as well. Um, and so their relationship with Shires has been really fruitful in a lot of ways. Um, not only have their designs been heavily influenced, if not completely designed, by Steve Shires and his team, but over the past 10 plus years, the Eastman craftsmen have been trained by Steve Shires and his team as well. So we're getting instruments that are built by at this point, very experienced craftsmen using really top notch designs. It's an interesting collaboration. And I think it's created some instruments that really seem to work well for a lot of players. So today I'm gonna to be taking a quick play on the Eastman ETB 829G. Um, so this instrument features a two-piece gold brass bell, um, standard Shires type setup slide. So it's a wider slide, yellow brass outer tubes, uh, nickel silver crook, and the 829 series features an axial flow valve. The 828 is the standard rotor. So this has got an axial flow valve on it as well. Um, in one of our future videos, I'll be doing a similar demo on the rotor so you can kind of compare the two of those back and forth here. So I'm gonna take a quick play on the 829G here so you can hear this in action. <laughs> All right, so just a quick playthrough on the Eastman ETB 829G for you. I think just like any axial flow, flow valve setup, you're going to find that this is going to take a different type of air column. Um, you know, if you're somebody who can really fill up the instrument um, and, you know, think with a little bit wider sound, you know, of course, just like any axial flow instrument, this can definitely uh, fit for you. But you're going to have to be able to move that air to really be able to get it to respond for you. Um, I do like what the uh, gold brass brings to it as well. Obviously, a different timbre than yellow brass. We'll hopefully have a yellow brass version so you can compare the two of those as we go along here as well. So, as always, if you have any questions about the instrument, if you play on one of these, if you have a chance to play and you want to leave your comments below, we would love for that. Um, we appreciate you considering giving this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already done so think about subscribing to our channel. We're going to continue to create great content. Hopefully that is relevant to you and as always you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. So thank you very much for watching.